lawmakers will be back at work Monday for the start of the 2020 legislative session, and many new laws will be passed for the state of Indiana. Here are a few things that you need to know about the upcoming session. There is a short session for state lawmakers. This one will be. They will not pass a budget this year and will be finished with business in early March. Members of the state's minority party will try to enact some kind of marijuana-related legislation, either decriminalization or legalization, but it's unlikely to happen with the Republicans in power opposing those changes. And lastly, despite the thousands of teachers at the State House in November, legislative leaders are unlikely to make any changes to teacher pay this session. One bill that was filed today could have a large impact on many schools in the state. Democratic Senator J.D. Ford filed a bill that he says would prevent schools that discriminate against students, teachers, and staff from receiving taxpayer money. He filed it in response to Roncalli High School, which fired guidance counselor Shelley Fitzgerald after it was discovered that she was married to a woman. Ford filed a similar bill last year, but it didn't get a hearing. So what's different this year? I'm hoping uh, that the relationships that I have built, and this is what this business is based upon, um, being able to talk with my colleagues um, in a frank manner, um, I'm hoping that those conversations will help to lead to possibly, you know, the bill getting a hearing. Ankali has received nearly $5 million in public money through the state's Choice Scholarship Program.